Hey, let's transfer. We got to transfer the photo to the computer for me to use it. So I just realized let's manage and edit images on a computer. Well, first of all, viewing, press the arrow playback button to switch to playback mode and then select an image with the control wheel. You can move the previous image next image by pressing the left right side of the control wheel. To start playing back a movie, press the center button on the control wheel. All right, so that's if you want to just glance at it on your camera. But on the computer, um, it says, Matt, by connecting the camera to a computer using a USB cable or inserting the camera's memory card into the computer, you can import recorded images to the computer. You can perform remote shooting from a computer and adjust or develop raw images recorded with the camera by using the software suite Imaging Edge Desktop. I'm going to get open source um, programs to do that, but let's see if I can do it right out on my computer. So I've got the cord <clears throat> and... Uh, I get confused between USB type A and USB type C, but um, if I ever figure it out, I'll let you know. Um, use my thumbnail to open the side door on the camera. Right now the camera's off. I usually have things off when I'm gonna connect them. And I'll connect the cord in there. Okay, then I'm going to plug it into the computer. I plug the USB into the computer. Do you see anything? No. Then I'm going to turn, well, let me put, I'm going to put the lens in, squeeze the things in. place it in to protect the lens. And then I'm going to turn the camera on and see what it does. Open with files. Let's see, DCIM a lot of times, I think, has photos. And there you go with the image viewer. It's a JPG image. And that, so just to review where I went to find the photo at, again, um, I went, not the PM home, I went to my, uh, the flash card, the 62 gigabyte volume. That's not enough. I thought I had more on there, but all right. Um, let me see what these others do. So that and private, oh, that's root. Okay, so DCIM is the folder you go to and 100 MSDCF is what had my photo. And that's how you get the photo. Thank you.